MIUI 10 is one of the most anticipated update for POCO F1 users. The POCO F1 is one of the first sub-branding part of Xiaomi which comes with powerful speculation. The Snapdragon 845, a couple with 6 gigs of RAM, a dual AI cameras, Face ID and more. To take an advantage of this processor and hardware, it needs a better software. This is MIUI 10 running on POCO F1 and here are my initial impressions, let's get started. MIUI 10 is currently available for POCO F1 users as a part of beta called Global ROM. Before talking about the features, if you want to know how to install MIUI 10, watch my video which I already made for you guys. You can install MIUI 10 either using a recovery update, a fastboot method or even flashing through TWRP. Anyway, so let's dive into the more details of MIUI 10. So this update seems to be a quite responsive when it comes to multitasking. I have been testing this update for almost two weeks now. Everything is snappier and yeah, you may expect a lot of differences over MIUI 9. Since this is a global beta ROM, you may find some hiccups and little bit of lag in some areas of the UI. But that won't bother you at all when Xiaomi releases a stable ROM MIUI 10, it will be better optimized. Also, I have noticed the Face ID is instant. It's not at all comparative with MIUI 9. You simply raise and wake up the POCO F1 and boom, the sensor is more aggressive and unlocks the F1 instantly. I really like that and of course, you may expect the fingerprint is too pretty fast. Apart of that, MIUI also brings some of the few changes to the UI. The main thing you may notice is all new notification shade. You can see when you swipe down the notifications from the top, the background will be completely blurred. This looks fantastic. And you can also see there is a new brightness slider which is positioned horizontally. So this kind of remind me the iPhone brightness slider. Now talking about the app switcher, it got completely revamped. Switching up from the bottom just like the iPhone 10 to see all of the previously opened applications and you can quickly jump between them very easily. You can also run applications side by side by choosing the split screen mode. Simply just go ahead and drag and drop the apps to run side by side. Also we all know uh, with stock ROM of Android Pie, Google done a fantastic job to control the volume of a media by redesigning a new platter. With MIUI 10, Xiaomi seems like impressed with that and they have implemented it. Now controlling the volume of media is much easier than ever before. From here, you simply click on the bell icon to mute or silence everything and right below that bell icon, clicking on the three dot menu will give you more controls to control the volume for ringtones, notifications and alarm. And these are the, some of the new features you may have expected to see on POCO F1, the bottom line of the video, MIUI 10 and POCO F1 is impressing. The operating system is quite responsive and there are also new transitions and animations while opening and closing the apps using gestures. So I can say MIUI 10 is definitely a worth of upgrading over MIUI 9. And that's pretty much about this video and thanks for watching. This is KSK here, signing off.